okay dear students let us see what is there in this question for fringes to be observed in a double slit interference experiment the slits must emit waves that are coherent what conditions are required for the frequency of the waves and for the phase difference between the waves so that the waves are coherent my dear students this is basically the condition for the interference to take place the interference will not take place if the two waves are not coherent coherent what do we mean by coherent number one the frequency should be same frequency of both of the waves should be same or we can even say that uh, the light should be coming from the one single source why because we want this frequency to be 100 percent same have you do you remember the word monochromatic like every other time you find there is a monochromatic light is falling on the slate monochromatic light is used what is that monochromatic and why are we using that monochromatic light because we want to have the same frequency and same wavelength for both of the slits that is why we are always using monochromatic so what conditions are required for the frequency and the phase difference so this is the second condition which is for the phase difference that it should be constant my dear student it should be constant so the phase difference with which the waves have started and now they are superposing each other so the initial phase difference may or may not be zero but it has to be constant if it is zero it should remain zero if it is not zero like pi by three or pi by four it should remain constant that is pi by four only it should not change if it is a variable phase difference then there will be no pattern that would be visible only and only the light will be there there is no pattern pattern vanishes so my students the, for the core and sources the condition is b and that should be the answer given in the mark scheme so this is how we do this question all the best